YouTube. What's going on, guys? And welcome to another segment on the channel. We just having a whole bunch of segments come out at once, but that's because 2021 has a lot of ideas rolling, okay? But, guys, this segment is going to be called the Did You Know or What If section, and it's brought to us by our good friends, or at least I hope, over at CBR.com, comicbookroom.com, and please do make sure you guys do give a good look at their website because I want to take this time to really get this segment together because I want to look at it like I'm giving more of a voice to their to their site without them having to like ask me or anything like I didn't get endorsed for this I didn't get asked or texted by them or emailed by them so CBR if you are looking at this please do sponsor the boy because I would like to be sponsored by some people that I love thank you but other than that I do love their facts and I love everything about their site they give a lot of updates and things that really uh, makes you challenge your mind in uh, ways that we don't really do every day so without further ado guys let's go on ahead and start this very first part of this segment and that is 10 DC supervillains who would make Goku sweat let me make sure I said that right let me make sure I said that right yes 10 DC supervillains who would make Goku sweat now I'm gonna be uh, talking about this directly from the article but without further ado I'm not gonna dive in start this video <laughs> Okay, let's get started. So, like I said, I'm going to be reading directly from the article so um, that you guys know if you want to go fact check me, you can go on there. Like I said, type it in and, and find it, you know what I mean? And you're going to see that it's exactly what it is. So, like I said, CBR, if you see this, I want to be your voice. I want to be your voice. So, I love stuff. I love stuff. So, without further ado, let's hop right into it. So, it says, Goku is one of the most powerful beings in all of manga and anime. He devoted his entire life to training and even learned from some of the greatest masters throughout the world. These skills, along with his Saiyan powers, have served him well over the years. Goku has been through some tough battles, yet he always manages to save the day, which is true. Which is true, okay? So, let's start with... Number 10. In the number 10 spot is Superboy Prime. He's just way too powerful for Goku. Superman can beat Goku, but this is a fact that most Dragon Ball fans can't admit. I'm not gonna lie. I was one of them until I had to fact check. So, what if Goku were to fight an even more powerful version of Superman? One who was less skilled in a lot of ways, but didn't hold back? Well, the fight might be closer, but he'd still actually lose. That's what would happen if Goku and Superboy Prime met in battle. Prime's legacy as a pre-crisis Kryptonian means he can throw planets with ease and fly many times the speed of light. Goku is good, but he wouldn't be able to survive Prime's initial onslaught. Superboy Prime would not hold back, okay? So he would just utterly lose that battle, okay? Number nine, okay? In the number nine spot is none other than General Zod, who would teach Goku to kneel, all right? It says, General Zod has all of Superman's powers, except he's a soldier, all right? This gives him a leg up against the Man of Steel. And while Goku is definitely a better fighter, Zod is much craftier than the Saiyan martial artist, and that's going to make all the difference. Goku isn't the sharpest knife in the drawer, and that's going to cost him against Zod. Zod will go all out from the get-go, not giving Goku the time he needs to get going. He'll have no problem throwing Goku into space, and that will pretty much be the end of things. Saiyans can't breathe in space. Even if he could, Zod wouldn't leave things to chance and finish the Saiyan off. And that, and I'm not even gonna lie, it sucks hearing these things, but it's true, okay? It's true. In the number eight spot, Lex Luthor? Too smart to lose to Goku? I gotta read this. Lex Luthor can't win a one-on-one -on -one fight against Goku. Given. Of course, he also can't win a one-on-one -on -one fight against Superman, but that doesn't stop him. 
true enough. Luther's whole shtick involves being smarter than everyone else. While his armor does make him formidable in a fight, Goku would be able to shred it quickly. That doesn't mean the fight is over though. Luther will escape the sort of dim saying and use what he's learned to formulate the perfect plan to use against him. He'll strike again when Goku least expects him to take him out, outthinking him and winning the fight in a way that Goku can't compete with. With his brain, cause let's really be honest, Goku is a dud. Goku really is a dud. But in the number seven spot is Brainiac. Brainiac has the brains and the brawn to make short work of Goku, okay? Brainiac is one of the few villains in the universe that Superman is afraid of, and Goku will learn why he encountered him. Brainiac casually commits terrible atrocities, using his ship and its powerful technology to destroy planets with ease. However, that's just the beginning of his threat. Sounds familiar? Kind of sounds like Frieza a little bit? Brainiac knows about countless vanquished civilizations and is powerful enough to give Superman a run for his money in a fight. He has too many options to use against Goku. He'll let his drones engage the sand first, gauging his power levels, learning his weaknesses, formulating the perfect trap, and then springing it on Goku, taking him down ultimately in the end. So, guys, number six. In the sixth spot, we have Reverse Flash's Blitzkrieg. Would it just be too much for Goku, okay? Reverse Flash is one of the most dangerous villains in the DC universe, which is hence why I love anything that goes fast. And while he may not have Goku's skill or strength, the power of the negative speed force will be more than enough to deal with the Saiyan. One can't beat what they can't hit, and Goku will be able to hit the Reverse Flash. Reverse Flash will run circles around Goku, striking him a million times before Goku even knew what was going on. It's hard to beat a foe who can move his Reverse Flash can, and if the Super Speed Psycho decides to use the Infinite Mass Punch, a speedster's greatest weapon, it's definitely over for Goku. However, he probably wouldn't need to. Just, use, just using the negative speed force alone would be enough, okay? Now guys, we've came down to the fifth spot on this list but before we actually go over five to one make sure you do if you made it this far please do give a like on that on that like button please do it helps the boy out all right and make sure if you haven't already make sure you subscribe because i'm hitting you with the facts all right why wouldn't you subscribe i'm hitting you with some facts all right let's get back to the video number five Parasite would suck Goku dry, okay? Now, Parasite is one of the most underrated villains in the DC Universe. I'm not even gonna lie, I don't even know who Parasite really is. That's how you know he's underrated. His energy draining powers make him extremely deadly to the most powerful heroes, and Goku counts as one of them. Parasite would drain away Goku's power, leaving the Saiyan weak and gaining his might for the villain's use. Doesn't that sound familiar? Who does that sound familiar about? Dragon Ball fans, the Yakon. Remember, he's kind of like Parasite. This would be very bad for Goku. Superman beats the Parasite because he can outsmart the monster. But Goku couldn't outsmart a paper bag. Without his powers, he's an amazing martial artist, but that won't save him from a fully charged Parasite, especially not in the weakened state he would be in. All right? Let's go on down the list to number four, okay? We're down to number four. I don't know why I was about to put up another hand like we were on nine or something, but number four, Johnny Sorrow would kill Goku with just a look. I don't even know who Johnny Sorrow is, so let's actually see who he is. Johnny Sorrow is a lesser known villain, but he's quite formidable. A servant of the subtle realms is Elder Gods. Sorrow can teleport anywhere, stop energy attacks coming at him, and go intangible. Wow, these abilities wouldn't allow Goku to hurt him, but he wouldn't win with it. Wow, by removing his mask, Johnny Sorrow can kill his foes with a look. While he does become tangible when he takes off his mask, Goku doesn't know to... Oh, Goku doesn't know not to look at Sorrow. Johnny will let Goku throw everything he can at the villain, remove his mask, and ultimately end the fight. Wow, that's crazy. Dropping down into number three, let's talk about Darkseid and how his Omega effect would fall Goku. There's a good chance that Goku would defeat Darkseid if it weren't for the Omega effect. 
But Darkseid is closer to the type of villain that Goku is used to facing. However, like most DC villains, Darkseid is much smarter than Goku and isn't just going to wade out to fight the sand hand to hand immediately. Instead, Darkseid will watch as Goku fights his way through the legions of Apocalypse. As things get dire, Darkseid will decide discretion is the better part of valor and unleash Omega Effect, ending Goku with one mighty blast. We're almost there to that number one spot, but we're right here in number two where Perpetua is one of the creators of the multiverse and Goku can't stand up to that kind of power. Goku has faced a lot of powerful foes over the years, but never one as powerful as Perpetua. Perpetua is one of the hands, beings that create multiverses and everything within them. Perpetua's power and cunning were able to overcome the heroes of the DC universe at every turn, and she only lost to the Batman who laughs because he gained power comparable to hers. That's not going to be possible for Goku. He'd be like a flea against Perpetua. He'd keep trying, of course, but his attacks would be completely ineffectual against her. All of his skills would amount to naught against her. And to the very last one, we are now here at the number one spot. Anti-Monitors destroyed countless universes in one Saiyan. It's surely not going to stop him. Anti-Monitor has the greatest body count in comics. Sure, Thanos snapped away half the universe, but Anti-Monitor has destroyed universes and everything in them, okay? That's some serious power, and it took the efforts of the heroes of five universes working together to defeat the Anti-Monitor. Goku is tough, but he's only one hero, okay? He doesn't stand a chance against the Anti-Monitor. Goku only knows how to do one thing, hit things until they fall. That's not going to work against the Anti-Monitor. He can survive anything that Goku throws at him and hit Goku with power like he's never experienced before, thus ending the Saiyan. Now, who knows, could this list possibly change since we have now dwelled into the power of the gods themselves in the multi-universes? Who knows what could possibly make way? This list could possibly change up if Goku possibly gets power that's way past that. But we don't know if Super is included, but we do know that Dragon Ball as a whole is included in this. So guys, that is it for the very first segment of Did You Know? Brought to you by our good friends over at CBR. So guys... If you enjoyed this video, you already know what to do. Don't be afraid to hover and haunt that like button. Subscribe today to become part of the Soul Gang Team Nephilim. Let's get it. Tap that notifi notification bell. Goodness gracious. To know each and every time that I upload. And guys, remember to be good at the game. You got to kill with skill. And until our next nightmare, guys, I'm out. Peace.